Hi, it's Michelle and I'm reporting to you about the course I'm taking, The Science of Raw Food Nutrition 2 in Fort Bragg, California, conducted by Drs. Rick and Karen Dina. And this is being held at the Living Light Culinary Arts Institute here, here in Fort Bragg. It's day two, Saturday, June 12th. And this morning, Dr. Rick went over uh, the major studies in support of a plant-based nutrition. And then we went on, took a break, and came back and heard about the Framingham Heart Study. Study, which was pretty groundbreaking in uh, the improvements that were made by just change of diet. The China study and Dr. Dean Ornish took another break and came back and heard about the things that Dr. John McDoodle, McDougall um, founded or discovered in his research. And then fasting and hypertension, we went over that and, uh, and what can happen with a fasting program. And just before lunch, we looked at making sense of food labels. Don't be fooled. Now that was very interesting. So the next time you uh, go to the grocery store and, and pick up some label that says 95% fat free, check out the calories in the back and, and really see if that does make sense, what it says on the front of the label. Uh, we took a lunch break and then when we came back, Dr. Karen talked about the foundations of the raw food diet. She also went into enzymes, and food combining was the last portion of our course today. Um, everything continues to be very interesting. Um, some of the things that were mentioned about enzyme and some of the controversies that are being said about enzymes are that we are born with a finite amount of enzymes and that they can become depleted, and we were told that that is not true, that we are not born with a finite amount of enzymes. So if that's a question that's been plaguing you, perhaps that's the answer there. And then in summary, um, there's much that we know about all of these things, including digestion and enzymes, but there's still so much more that we will learn in the years to come. So nothing's, con not nothing, but many things aren't conclusive. There's a lot more research that needs to be done, and if it hasn't been researched, the deanists take the position of they don't know the answer because they're really relying on peer research, and that's how they justify the answers that they give us. So we're having a great time finding out what's true and what's not true and what's soon to be found out, and uh, we'll be reporting. I will be reporting more to you tomorrow, and that will be day three of the Science of Raw Food Nutrition with the deanists in Fort Bright, California. Over now, we'll see you tomorrow.